Welcome to Budget Beauty, where I help you look flawless for less. Welcome back and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen and this is Budget Beauty. We do everything beauty on a budget and that includes testing out new eyeshadow palettes. I'm going to do a full tutorial, give you my first impression and an honest review. And the palette that we're talking about today, I am super excited about. And that is the Verona palette from Nomad Cosmetics. This is their Valentine's 2023 release and I am so excited to put this on my eyes. We're actually going to do two looks today with this palette. So this palette is very unique. So if you're excited, give this video a big, huge thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed and your bell's turned on because I upload lots and lots of new videos every single week. Down in the description box, you will find the Nomad palette. I'll link it with a discount code for you, as well as all of my favorite beauty subscription boxes, all of the other makeup that I'll be wearing for the two looks that we're going to be doing in this video. And come on over, follow me on TikTok for a little bit more beauty on a budget. So I can't wait to put this on my eyes and test out the Verona palette from Nomad Cosmetics. So before I zoom you in and start the first eye look, I want to tell you a little bit about the Verona palette. Actually, when I purchased the palette, it came with this super cute postcard. If you don't know about Nomad, they are a destination palette company. So all of their palettes are some type of destination around the world. And today we are inspired by Romeo and Juliet and Verona. So it says the destination made famous by the story of Romeo and Juliet, Verona with its picturesque pizzazz Pizzazzas, charming cafes, and immaculate architecture is the perfect setting for any love story. Historic city with youthful energy, it is an enchanting place to visit during Valentine's Day. Odes to the star-crossed lovers are on full display. Follow the story of Juliet's balcony in the house of Romeo to the tomb where the tragedy unfolds, all the while enjoying the city's ambrous gems along the way. And then it says this palette is fire, fury, love, and sorrowful death. Love blooms on the left with pink blushes and rich roses turning into intense reds and scarlets of passionate love death consumes the right with cool tones of woeful grays tragic blues deep violets and the completeness of black 12 mattes and six shimmers the cause we are proud to support world wildlife fund that protects all animals including lovebirds so i did insert some swatches for you of the palette i am so excited i love that there is a mirror on both sides of the palette so depending on what side you're what side you're creating an eye look for you have a mirror i do like the more monochromatic pink side as well as the kind of grungy cool tone side so today i'm going to play with the love side and we're going to create a look with this beautiful pinky red side and then you'll see the look with the death side so let me go ahead and zoom you in and let's start today's look the first thing i'm going to do as always is prime my eyes with my mac paint pot in painterly i always always use an eye primer i find that it keeps my shadow on all day, prevents creasing, and really just kind of brings out the true shades. And it also does some color correcting as well. So with the love side of the palette, we're going to get a much more monochromatic look than the death side, but I want to focus on using as many of the shades in this, on the love side as I can. So I'm going to start my transition out with the lightest pink shade in the palette called Paradise. This shade up here, I'm going to pick that up on a fluffy brush and we're going to use that as a transition shade. I love Nomad's matte formula. It is so buttery soft, so incredibly pigmented. This is the lightest shade in the palette that was one swipe in and I have enough color payoff and pigmentation to do my entire transition shade. I also wanted to point out all the pan embossings, which you saw in the close-up of the palette. I love that Nomad does that, they, that they do these really beautiful pan embossings. It just adds a little bit of elegance and fun to the palette. And the pan embossings always are associated with the destination in the palette, which I really, really love that. So now I'm going to deepen my crease up just a tiny bit with this shade Balcony, quite a bit deeper than that first shade. And this is that true bubblegum pink. Oh, that's so pretty. Whoa, that is very pigmented. I definitely didn't need to pick that much up on 
my brush. That is a very, very pigmented shade, so a little bit goes a very long way. I'm going to take a little bit of extra time to kind of diffuse that out. This is a really, really fun bubblegum pink. I went ahead and cleaned my brush off and back into Paradise so that I can finish blending the crease and just make it a little bit more seamless since that balcony shade is very, very pigmented. Now for deepening up my outer corner to add a little bit of depth, I have a couple choices. I can use this kind of deep burgundy shade called Zool or Zuel, or this more red shade called Love. Kind of depending on what kind of vibe you want to go with. If you want to go with a little bit more red or pink leaning look, I think I'm going to bring in the darkest shade in the palette, Zool. And I'm using a little bit denser brush so that I can really pack that into the outer corner and deepen up the look. This shade is beautiful. It is a maroon kind of pink shade. It looks way more maroon in the pan, but once you start applying it to the eye, it has a real pretty pink undertone, so it pairs really nicely with my two mattes. And again, that was picking up that shade once on my brush. So pigmented. I love that. Really easy to blend and layer. It's layering beautifully over the pink shades. That is so beautiful. With that same fluffy brush that I did the crease with, I'm just going to, again, blend and diffuse. That is so beautiful. I mean, I love the pink. I love that deep kind of burgundy red in the corner. And because it has that pink undertone, it's just absolutely stunning and really would pair nicely even if you went with a little bit more red leaning look as well. So as always, I am going to use my NYX glitter glue. This is my favorite thing. This is my favorite glitter glue. It just really helps bring out the true shimmer. And again, helps prevent creasing, helps prevent helps with longevity, keeping those shimmers in place all day. I use a glitter primer, glitter glue, pretty much every time I apply a shimmer and the NYX is my favorite, not to mention it is super affordable. And then it's deciding what shimmers to use. This shade Comedy right here, I love that it has the face on it, the mask on it. I absolutely want to use that. And like I said, I wanna to try to use all the shimmers. So I'm going to be bringing in these other two shimmers as well, but let's go ahead and start with Comedy. I'm going to pick that up on my finger. That is so pretty. And I'm going to focus that on my outer portion of my lid where I had applied that deepest shade to deepen up the look. Now these shimmers are a little bit chunky feeling in the pan. I mean, they're applying really beautifully. I feel like the, a lot of the shimmers with swatching them on both sides, the love and the depth, are a little bit more of the topper type of shimmers. The death side, I think, had a little bit more true shimmers, where this love side, these are a little bit more of topper type of shimmers, so they're a little bit more sheer, which I don't mind at all, especially if you if they are buildable, which this shade Comedy is absolutely beautiful and is, is really, really buildable and easy to apply. And then using a brush, I'm going to pick up the pink shimmer in the palette called Romeo. I always like to use my finger and a brush when I do these looks so that you can see, is it better to apply these with your finger, a brush, or can you, use, or can you do it both ways? And that one I'm going to focus next to Comedy. Now this shimmer, I'm not getting a ton of payoff with my brush. I'm kind of digging into it. It's pretty hard pressed in the pan. And I'm wondering if once I break through that top layer, if I'll be able to get a little bit more payoff. I'm really just kind of digging at the heart imprint and I'm still not getting a ton of payoff with that. Let me try my finger. Some of these toppery shades do a little bit better with the finger. Yeah, I'm still not getting a ton even using my finger. I mean, I can see the shimmer. It's definitely not my favorite. It's just really hard to get some opacity. By using my finger on this side, I have broken through the top layer of the shimmer. Now I'm actually, you can see, getting a lot more payoff. So it is really beautiful. It's 
it just takes a little bit of work to get the opacity and the payoff from the shimmer. And again, I think this, these two shimmers are better served with the finger than with a brush. Now using this shimmer cupid, this is really pretty. It's kind of a shifty purple pink. Again, I'm going to try my brush and I'm going to use that in the inner corner. This one is applying a lot better with a brush. It is again still that more, that really sheer topper type of shimmer, which actually I think pairs really nicely as an inner corner highlight. Not my favorite shimmer formula for the lid, but looking at my, but taking a look at it, I mean, it's really pretty and sparkly. Now for my lower lash line, I want to use this shade Rose. So this is kind of a pinky orangey type of a shade. I'm going to buff that on my lower lash line. Ooh, I really like this color. This is really, really pretty. It looks really nice with the deepest shade in my outer corner. It actually is pretty similar to that on the eyes, honestly, just like a shade lighter. That's the thing with more of these kind of monochromatic palettes is a lot of the shades are gonna look pretty similar on the eyes. That's why I'm excited to test out the death side because the shades are much more they're very different, very versatile. I'm going to go back into the shade Romeo, trying again on the brush, picking that up and just buffing that on my lower lash line for that little bit of a shimmer. Yeah, just not getting much of a payoff. That's a little bit disappointing. For me, Romeo is probably the worst shimmer in the palette. I find it really hard to pick it up with a finger, really hard to pick it up with a brush. Once you get it on the eyes, it's absolutely stunning, but it takes a lot of work. And I don't like to work that hard. I mean, I feel like these other two shimmers are a little bit easier to work with, but all of Three of these on the love side are much more of that sheer, more topper type of formula. But like I said, once you get them on the eye, they're beautiful. I mean, look at how sparkly and wet looking those are. They just take a little bit more work than I prefer. So let me go ahead and apply some liner, mascara. I'll be back to show you the finished look and we'll, uh, we'll do our lips together. So here is the completed eye look. After looking at it a little bit more up close and personal, the shimmers are absolutely stunning on the eyes. They took a lot of work to get them on there, but once they're there, they are absolutely beautiful. So I'm happier overall with the love side than I thought that I would be because the shimmers are just absolutely stunning once you get them on the eyes. So let's do my lips together. I want to pull in this whole pinky love vibe. So I'm going to use the Jaclyn Cosmetics lip liner. This is actually from her Strawberry Feels collection and it's in the shade Juicy. So I'm going to line my lips. Of course, I'll link everything down below with all of the other makeup that I'm wearing. And then I'm going to transition over to Glam Light for the lip product. So this is from the Strawberry Shortcake Collection. I'm going to actually use the little lip duo. I don't even love bullet lips. This is actually the only bullet lip that I have in my collection because I really like the formula. It's very creamy, very opaque, very pretty. Like I always say, I'm very much a liquid lip girl, but I just really like the formula and the color of this one from Glam Light. And then we're going to use the matching gloss, which has the best strawberry smell ever. I really like this whole lip combination. I wear this a lot whenever I'm doing more of a pinky red look. So this is the completed look for the Nomad Love side. Now let's go ahead and do the look with the desk side and then I'll give you my final thoughts on the palette overall. So we're going to do look number two with the death side of the Nomad Love and Death palette. So again, I'm going to prime my eyes with my MAC Paint Pot in Painterly. I'm really excited to play with this side of the palette. The problem is I don't know what colors I want to use because I want to use everything, which obviously probably isn't going to happen. Everything is, all these colors are stunning. So we have kind of a mauve row, a blue row, and then a cool toned gray row. I definitely want to use this kind of goldy, shifty shimmer. I mean, all the shimmers are stunning. So I think what I'm going to do is try to use a matte from the gray, the blue, and the mauve colored row. So for my transition, I'm going to pick up the shade Inferno, which is this kind of cool toned gray. Picking that up on a fluffy brush, I'm going to put that in to my crease. 
And again, just like the love side, look at that pigmentation. One swipe into that shade Inferno. I love a good cool toned gray too. It is just such a beautiful transition shade and it's a color that you easily can layer on. This is such a pretty gray. You can see that it has that little bit of a blue purple undertone. Just so it's going to pair so beautiful with those blue and, and burgundy mattes. I want to go into the shade Dark, which is the deepest kind of burgundy shade. Picking that up on a little bit denser, fluffy brush, I'm going to focus that right on the crease. I just want to deepen that up a little bit, add a little bit of dimension. This is also a beautiful color. It applies with a little bit of a purple undertone. It's definitely more purple leaning than I thought that it was in the pan, which I'm not mad about. It is such a pretty color. It's actually a very unique color. It is that burgundy purple. It's also layering perfectly over that gray inferno. Back into the gray shade inferno with that big fluffy brush. I'm just going to blend that out. Absolutely beautiful. Now to deepen up the outer corner, I want to definitely use, I was debating between the blue and the black. Blue is the shade Poison, the black is the shade Death. Oh, it's such a hard decision, but I think I want to try the shade Poison. It looks like this beautiful deep navy blue. Oh yeah, that is so pretty. I love a good deep navy. One dip into Poison and look at all of that payoff. So beautiful. It's layering perfectly, absolutely perfectly over the other mattes. I love Nomad mattes. I do have a tiny, teeny little bit of fallout from that deep shade, from the shade Poison, but I have already set my face, so I will just go ahead and wipe that away. And again, back in with that big fluffy brush that had Inferno not picking up any more color, just blending and buffing. Again, using my NYX glitter glue, I'm going to tap that onto my lid before we go in with our shimmer. 100% have to use this shade right here. I think it's called Mars or Moors. It is this beautiful gold kind of shifty purple green. I'm going to focus that on the majority of the outer portion of my lid. This is so Wow, this is so beautiful. It's very buildable. You can definitely layer it. It is a little bit, it is similar to the shimmers in the love side of the palette where they're a little bit more of that toppery, more sheer shimmer, but very easy to layer and build opacity. So that was using my finger. I'm wondering if we're gonna have the same problem picking those shimmers up on a brush like we did with the love side. I'm going to use Tragedy, which is another one of those kind of duochrome, shifty purple pink to gray. And I'm going to put that on the inner portion of my eye, blending that over with that shade Moors. So this is definitely picking up a little bit easier on a brush. You can see that I did get quite a bit of payoff. So this shade, I would say, works great with a brush. You can always spray your brush with a makeup mist or a setting spray as well, and that usually will intensify the shimmer. But I'm really happy that I am able to pick that up on the brush. I'm going to pick up the shade Poison, which was that nice deep navy blue that we did on the outer corner, and I'm going to buff that on my lower lash line. It is very pigmented, so a little bit goes a long way. Also, this is the shade that has that tiny bit of fallout, so make sure that you are tapping off your brush. There's even a little bit of kick up in the pan with this shade. I'm going to blend it out with Dagger. I like that there are some Daggers imprinted in the pan. So cute. It's a little bit of a lighter purple shade. So, so beautiful. And then of course we have to use the other shade in the palette, the other shimmer we haven't used yet, which is Juliet. And I'm going to put that as my inner corner highlight. That's going to add a little bit pop of blue. Oh yeah, that is so pretty. That also picks up perfectly with a brush. So you can definitely pick up the shades on the desk side a little bit easier with a brush. 
blend that across my lower lash line for that little bit of shimmer. I am going to clean up the fallout, put on some liner, mascara, lashes, and I'll be back and we'll do our lips together and then I'll give you my final thoughts on the Nomad palette. We are going to go ahead and do my lips together. So starting with the lip liner, I'm going to use from the brand Real Her. This is in the shade I Am Precious and this is just a very pink kind of nude shade. I think a pink lip will pair perfectly with this eye look. It'll bring in a little bit of that pinky vibe from that inner corner from this shimmer here on the inner portion of my lid. Side note about the Real Her lip liner, super creamy, easy to use. And then I'm going to keep it simple. I'm going to use the Tarte Man Eater Gloss. So this is a little bit of a plumping gloss, but it has quite a bit of opacity. And it's not one of those plumping glosses that hurt, but it's definitely going to add a little bit of fullness. I really enjoy the Tarte plumping glosses. So let me go ahead and get dressed, do my hair, get ready for the day, and then I'll be back to share my final thoughts on the Nomad Love and Death palette. What are my final thoughts on the Nomad Love and Death palette? I love it. I think this is a fantastic palette. I actually like the packaging. A few people were saying that they didn't love the packaging. I actually don't mind it at all. I love that I can keep one side closed if I want to focus on one side of the palette. I love that there's a mirror on both sides, especially if you're taking this for travel. As always, this is the typical amazing Nomad formula. The mattes, buttery smooth, blendable, buildable. Loved them. The shimmers, they were a little rougher to work with, especially on the love side. Those shimmers were definitely a little bit more of the toppery type of shimmers. Didn't pick up the best on a brush. It's okay with me. I apply shimmers with my finger most of the time. I feel like you get the best payoff with that, but I like shimmers that you're able to do both. And I found with the death side, I was able to actually apply those shimmers with a finger or a brush and they were absolutely beautiful. I like the color story of both sides. I would say that the death side is more unique to my collection than the love side, but I really liked my look that I created with the love side. And of course, today's look as well, I absolutely love. I think this palette is well, well worth the money. It's the typical amazing Nomad Cosmetics formula. So I will go ahead and link it down below for you with a discount code. It is still available as of the filming of this video. So if you're looking for a really good Valentine's Day release for 2023, highly recommend the Nomad Love and Death palette. <music> 